Hi friends. I'm sitting in my car before my walk this morning. Um, it was not supposed to be raining. Yes, that was my windshield wipers. <laughs> oh, there's that. Oh, I need to turn this off. This is Ashley's bus stop alarm. Um, their bus times got changed and so her friend had come over before I left to go for my walk. Um, so I've been making sure that they got out the door. But anyway, um, I'm sitting in my car kind of waiting to see if this little flurry of rain will stop because as you can see I do not have a hoodie. Um, I'm washing my other pink one and I literally have, let me see if I can show you, I just texted Jason a few, let me see if I, I can show you, um, let me show you. All right, so these are two different options that I was kind of looking at. Um, this is from, from Merrill. I'm worried that this one, it's a really nice stretchy material, but I'm worried that I'm going to get too hot in it. Um, anyway, but it has like really good, like rainproof on it. But this one here has like this inner lining that would be comfy, but also like I worry about getting too hot, but I don't know if this is like going to wick away water enough. Merrill, um, since we sell Merrill shoes, or at least Jason has the account. I don't know that he sells too many um, women's Merrill shoes anymore. He might more men's, but he has the account so he can order anything from their website. Not from their website, from his ordering website. Because um, I need more like outdoor gear. So, but I'm sitting in my car still because I need to join a call with my endocrinologist. But I also want to like be determined and go on my walk. Um, I hope I have enough cell coverage here, um, to do the call. Um, I am on a time crunch. I have another scan today. I did one yesterday after my walk. Um, yesterday I had time to go home and kind of shower and clean up and put on pants. Um, and I definitely need to do that today, even though like I have shorts on right now. I don't know if I'm going to have time. I'm not going to get in a, as good of a walk today, especially if it doesn't stop raining. I'll still go out and walk, um, but my scan is going to take me clear up until until take, picking up Ashley at school, um, and I have a snack slash lunch slash pre dinner um, ready for her when I pick her up because she has to go straight to her second cheer squad. It starts tonight, and these are her four hour practices. <laughs> She's really not. She's looking forward to it because she misses those girls, um, but she her feet hurt her really bad, and <laughs> I feel bad for her. Um, so anyway, my day is just kind of stacked, but I'm not worried about not getting a full walk in this morning because I'm going to go walking tonight when she's at cheer at the second squad. Um, it actually is supposed to be sunny this afternoon, so I'm hoping to do laps around her outside. Um, I just need to stay close to the bathroom. I learned that the hard way when I was waiting for Chelsea, what, a week ago, two weeks ago? Um, okay, so I need to get all my stuff on before I join this call. I was actually hoping I was... Hang on one sec. All right, it was the nurse at the doctor's office calling to um, get all my information. So, um, I haven't really um, talked to you guys about this. I guess now would be a good time. I started taking injections um, back in May. Um, it is not prescribed by this doctor, my endocrinologist. Um, it's prescribed by someone who is out of state. It is not from Mexico. It's a very legit pharmacy and doctor that I'm getting these medications from. Um, I'll exp explain that process and where I got to that point um, in a future video, hopefully soon. Um, but I did start taking injections. It's a compound, so it's cheaper. Um, it is obviously similar to Ozempic, Monjaro, um, but when I have to pay for this out of pocket, which I am, um, it is very 
much cost effective to do it as a compound. And so I have been taking that. Um, it is what's helping me, but as you guys have also seen, I have been doing my work. I've been doing my walks. I've been doing my healthy eating habits. Um, I'm not perfect with that. I love my Coke beverage every couple days. Um, if not every day, <laughs> um, it is when, you know, I don't want to be on a diet. I am changing my lifestyle and, um, I get to tell my doctor all of this. She has no idea. I've been doing all of this. Um, I was surprised because they, the, the nurse mentioned my medication. I was like, how do you know I'm on that? And it pulls from outside sources. It pulls from outside pharmacies that have my name attached to them, which is kind of nice because it showed the two different um, versions of the medication that I have used. I got it from two different pharmacies from the doctor that prescribed it. Um, the first one is cheaper at the first pharmacy um, because it was at a lower dose and you work your way up. And then as soon as it got to the full dose, the full compound, it got pretty expensive. So we found a new pharmacy. Um, but I get to tell all of that to my doctor. I get to tell her my habits that have changed and my lab work, you guys. I think I mentioned it already. My lab work is so good and I'm so excited for her to see that and hopefully I'm not doing this to impress her. I'm doing this to make myself um, healthier. Um, but as a lot of you who have been with me before know that it, it hasn't always been a wonderful interaction with this doctor. It's getting better. Um, and so I'm just excited to like, you know, show her that I have made improvements and we're doing good and all that kind of stuff. So. I'm waiting for her to get on the call now. I would love to get out and get walking. Um, I have nine minutes till my appointment actually, but I have to just sit here on hold, <laughs> um, waiting for her to join the call because this is the only spot that I know I'm going to get coverage and I, and now it's kind of misty, misty rain. I keep doing my windshield wipers to see how much it's raining out there. I think it's not really. Um, it shouldn't be too bad today. So anyway, sorry about that interruption with the nurse, but I think we're all set. I've got my knee brace I'm going to put on, um, and my socks and shoes. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm going to do that when I step out of the car after the call. Um, and then we'll just, it, it's going to be kind of a rapid fire day the rest of the day, but it should be good. Um, I am excited to kind of do a different walk tonight. I'm going to call a few friends and see if they want to meet after work for whatever amount of time that they can. Um, cause a lot of my friends just, they work and they can't come and go for walks when I go for walks, but hopefully maybe they can tonight. So we'll see, but I'm excited to like get more time in tonight, especially with the sun being out. So I'm putting my shoes on down here. And it kind of occurred to me, this is like way, it's not TMI, it's just way personal. But I just want you guys to understand the, the difference that my body has gone through. And sometimes, sometimes I don't realize, I don't see it, like the, the, the changes and the results myself. Because I don't, I mean I see it in the mirror when I don't have clothes on, but like... <sighs> Bending over right here in my front street seat to put my shoes on used to be really difficult if not like Not possible to bend over and have my stomach in the way In the front seat of my car to put my shoes on. I always had to open my door And today I full-on just bent over if the steering wheel hadn't been in the way I would have just Bent right through and put the shoe on so I, I guess I am making changes <laughs> I just don't see them all, um, all at once. I just see them every once in a while like this. So I don't know, weird thing to be like proud of, but <laughs> anyway. All right, all done. I hope, <laughs> I don't know. I think my doctor was excited for the progress that I'm on. She's excited that like lifestyle habits have changed and um, you know, diet and the exercise 
all that kind of stuff. She was like, oh wow, oh wow, you know, and I'm wear wearing my weights and she's like, oh wow, okay, 12 pounds, that's, okay, that's great. You know, that's extra strength training on top of good cardio. And um, anyway, she's, she's a little hesitant on my compound um, injections. I can, I can sense that. Um, and she's, cause she can't control it. She can't, um, modify it for me because she's not the one prescribing it. She can see it and we see the labs and whatnot. But, um, I, I told her up front that, um, the person I'm getting this from, I've literally shared my lab work with this doctor for years because that's what I do with the people in my life who ha are in medicine. That's just, I share um, my journey and I have been. And so they've been aware of all of my lab work and my frustrations with my pre-diabetes and my A1C and my tri triglycerides. Like they've been aware of that. And so I was telling that to my doctor. I was like, um, I am trusting this person because they have been following my lab work, my actual progress uh, medically for a very long time. It's not like I just picked up this doctor out of nowhere and said, hey, I want, you know, an injection medication to help me lose weight. Um, that person I am following along with um, almost weekly, if not more. Um, they were very excited for my lab work that I just got. And they were like, this is incredible. So I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm glad that the appointment went well. I knew she was probably going to be a little, my doctor, I knew my doctor was going to be a little bit hesitant about me being on the medication. Um, I think her only hesitation is not knowing what is in that compound and she doesn't really have access to know what's in it because it's not her that prescribed it. Um, so I think that's her only hesitation and maybe I can get my sister to find out like what's in it and I can send her, my doctor that information via my chart. Um, just so she feels okay about what I'm on, but I trust the doctor that I'm getting this from. I trust the pharmacy. It's it, all of it. Anyway, all of it is very legit. I'm not getting this from Mexico. I'm not like doing this under the table. Like it's all very legit, but I'm now late for my walk. <laughs> so I've got to go and, uh, uh, oh, Anyway, I guess I was sitting here um, on the Zoom call looking down. I was kind of picking at my nails <laughs> when the doctor was on the call waiting for me. And she was like waving her hand at me, like trying to get her my attention. So I had got like messages on my phone, but I couldn't see them because I was on the call. So anyway, we're going to go and I only have an hour. No, I have an hour and 15 minutes. It's not the greatest walk, but I'm going to go again tonight. All right, just had a really nice nap. <laughs> Got done with my walking and grabbed a bite to eat um, on my way over here. And then did my scan. And now all of a sudden the sun is out. I mean, I had rain <laughs> on my walk. It wasn't necessarily cold today, but I definitely had rain. I kept having to like wipe my glasses off. I've got to figure out a solution. New, new rain jacket of sorts or a hat I don't know because even when the rain doesn't bother me it just gets on my glasses and and I can't you know what I mean it just bothers me so I got to figure out a new solution but now sun is out and I've had a nap had some food I need to drink some more water so I'm gonna run home I have to get Ashley's cheer shoes fill up my water grab an extra snack for her I had more in the car. Um, she needs her cheer shoes, um, her stunting shoes, and I want to make sure she has tennis shoes too. She kind of has to use a couple different pairs. I can't get in the car, hang on. But I'm definitely gonna walk, because it's beautiful out here. My friend can't meet to go walking. One friend can't meet to go walking today, because she has to do some volunteer work it's until like 7.30 and I'll be done by then. And another friend is still sick. And so she can't go. Um, she probably has what or had what Jason has. I'm trying to get Jason to go to urgent care tonight. Um, and he probably has not even had time to schedule an appointment, which he can do at the urgent care we started going to. 
I just don't know that he's even done it and I haven't had enough battery power or cell, rec cell reception to do, to do that for him and I don't know what time he's gonna be able to like get there so that's where we're at um yep got to rush home to get Ashley um, this is my new routine to get her to her second squad um, because she's in middle school now the time frame is different in elementary school she was out of school two hours before this squad met and now she's out of school mere minutes <laughs> mere minutes before this practice starts so I have to go and pick her up and rush her over there so we kind of have to get into a new routine going forward I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Steady on my feet I'm gonna rise Up, no I won't stop It is my time what it's like to be broke all right i am going to get ashley from cheer i walked about three more miles three three and a half miles i accidentally turned off my stupid fitness tracker i paused it thinking i was just skipping the music on my um pandora i think and i accidentally paused it so i don't know i i walked seven miles for the day so i'm pretty sure i walked three three and a half miles um, cause I literally haven't walked at all today other than the two times I've gone walking. Um, anyway, I'm headed over to get, um, Ashley from cheer. I have showered and cleaned up and I actually cleaned the kitchen and cleaned out the fridge. And my, my job is to clean out the counter, clean off the counters since Kaylee is not here. Um, and I am quickly doing a little U-turn. <laughs> I kind of have to pretend like I'm going home right now because as I left early um, to go get Ashley, we're taking her friend and little sister home. Um, but I knew that the timing of me going to get her would be probably at the same time as the one friend that I helped give a ride home with for. Um, she went, She's the one who works at the nail salon and doesn't have a car and I offered to take her home quite often. And um, I just knew the timing. I was like, I'm gonna look out for her. It's dark and I'd rather just keep an eye out for her and see if I can take her home really quick because I have time. And um, sure enough, <laughs> I saw her. She didn't see me going the opposite direction. She gets very mad at me when um, she sees me turn around and go back in the direction that I can take her home. She's like, you weren't going home in her very spotted English. You weren't going home. I saw you. You weren't going home. In fact, I wonder if she sees me. Yep, she's sitting <laughs> the little stink. She's sitting on her steps out in front of her apartment. <laughs> um, she's gonna get on me. I told, so anyway, I turned around. She didn't see me turn around tonight and I picked her up and she's like, you going home? And I was like, I am for a second, but I am going to get my daughter from cheer. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes, but I have to run home really fast. And then I am, you're gonna see me again. I have to go back and get her. And anyway, so she, she, but she's, she's not locked out of her house. She's purposely sitting on her steps to see if I truly did go past her house again. So the next time I pick her up, she's gonna be like, that you didn't go all the way home. <laughs> she knows. She knows that I. There's no way I went all the way home. I went pretty close, but I. I probably didn't give it. I gave it up. I. I gave it away. So anyway, I'm gonna go get Ashley, take her friends home, and um, and then we're gonna call it a night. I'm gonna call it a night with you guys. Pretty tired. Um, it did feel good to go on walks today. Um, my double walk day. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I probably will. I missed all my friends today because it was so cold and kind of rainy at the park at, when I went this morning. 
um, that no one was out except for my one little gentleman that has his little black dog. Um, I said hi to him and his wife, but um, no one else was out on the on the path today because it was cold and rainy. So I kind of miss seeing everyone. Um, but I know that as the weather turns and it gets rainy, it will become a place for me to go. I'm actually going to need to sign up for a membership to go other days of the week um, to get out of the rain, to be able to walk or even work out. Um, but since it's like community center, it's super cheap. I'm just going to pay for however many months I need to um, and not pay for the full year. So. I will get more use out of my walks on days where Ashley has cheer because I'm probably going to be doing that every day over there. So, um, but for right now, I like my park. I like my park. It felt weird to be on a walk in my old stomping grounds, my old Wednesday stomping grounds, but um, it was also nice to be out in the fall leaves and on a trail and and that kind of thing. So. There's pros and cons, but I am going to sign off with you guys. I'm going to be back at it again tomorrow morning going on my walk, but I need to get some com computer work done tomorrow. And then we have a pretty big night at cheer. We're going to learn the routine from our choreographer for halftime. And we're going to master that because we perform our first time on Saturday. And I'm kind of hoping Jason gets to take the day off because as you'll probably hopefully find out soon that is the day we have our big event so I'm kind of hoping he has the day off and we can go to Ashley's cheer and her football game and and then come home and have plenty of time to get ready so stay tuned and you'll see what we get up to this week all right take care you guys good luck with all your walking I'm so happy to hear that it's motivating for you guys in whatever ways i know some of you have started walking and others like you it's motivating for you so even if it's only one day a week you know in 10 minutes like that's a start so start somewhere and you can even do it inside you can even find another thing that you like to do so take care and good luck we'll see you guys next time